hello everyone welcome to my channel around digital creative in today's video i'm going to show you step by step guide on how you can design a better poster in corel draw okay if you don't know how to design a better poster or maybe you're just a novice in graphic designing don't worry in this video i'm going to show you step by step guide on how you can design a better poster in corel draw with this my step-by-step -step guide you'll be able to design a burial poster and other designs by yourself because i'm going to be walking you through step by step all right please if you're the first time of visiting my channel or you're not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe now by hitting on the subscribe button below and don't forget to smash on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos all right Please, I beg you again, don't skip any part in this video. Make sure you watch this video from beginning to the end because this video is very much interesting. Don't skip any part. The parts you will skip might be the one to help you. So please, I beg of you, don't skip any part in this video. Make sure you watch this video from beginning to the end, okay? So without wasting much time, let me go to my screen right now to show you how you can design a burial poster in Corel Draw. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said, that I will show you how to design a burial poster in Corel Draw. All right. So here is my Corel Draw, and the the page size I'm I'm going to use is A3. As you can see here, is A3 right so uh, what I'll do now is to make this player to be active by using my rectangle tool okay and draw all right so uh, what I'll do uh, is to change this unit to inches all right then copy this size all right paste it here then copy this one to the height then paste it here okay then i'll hit enter then i'll press on uh, i'll press letter p on my keyboard all right so i'll remove this outline here okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to import the sources I'll be using for this design all right so i'll go to i'll go here where i have them all right so i'll drag it to my correct draw good so uh, what i'll do uh, what i'll do now is to give this a background give it a background color Good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to power clip this inside here or clip it inside here. So but if, before I do that I will duplicate this uh this background by dragging and right click before you leave. Then I'll do what right click you see power clip click inside here. Good. Then either you go to edit or you right click to edit or click. Then you take this one aside. Okay. So I'll use my rectangle tool again and draw this way. I'll remove this background. Okay. I'll pop this inside this rectangle. Okay. So I'll right click and go to or click inside. Then I right click again to edit the core clip. Alright. Then I will do what? Expand it like this. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to blow this background. So to blow the background, I'll go to effects. See blow. I will go to Gaussian blow. Alright. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, Subscribe now by hitting on the subscribe button below and don't forget to smash on that icon 
so that in the fighting time I have an update. Alright? Yeah, click OK. Then click finish editing. Good. This is how it is. But that is not all. I'll also edit this now. Okay. Then uh, I'll convert this. Convert this to curve. Alright. So I will press click go to, to curve. Then I'll leave it this way. Alright. I'll remove the outline here. Let's see how it is. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do. The next thing I'm going to do now is to uh, use my rectangle tool again and convert to curve. Okay. And I right click, then curve. Alright. A bit like this. By holding shift, shift page up. Okay, then I'll remove the outline of this. So let's see how it is now. Good. Can you see? So uh, the next thing I'll do is to partly this picture inside here. Okay. So what I'll do is to I'm also going to duplicate this. Okay. You drag. Then you click before you leave. Then I click again or I click it. Alright, then you did. You can see the picture is facing this way, but I'm going to change it by going to mirror. Alright, so I have to crop this image. So I'll crop here. That is it. That is it. I'm also going to copy it again. Let me get the actual size of what I want. Okay. going to do is to bring this picture down here bring this picture down here let's how it is this is it okay so uh, uh don't look at this picture because this picture is not good enough but i'm i'm just using this picture to show you how to design a barrier poster in Corel Draw. Alright. So uh, the next thing I will do is also go to edit. So go to edit.
All right, let's see how it is now. Good. So uh, the next thing I will do is to bring out a test. Okay. So this is test here. Have to copy it. Copy. Then use my test tool. Then you press it. Either you click here, you press F8 on your keyboard. Then and draw a test box. Okay. Let's pause here. Then I'll have to paste it. So I'll change the font. Yeah. Then give it a white color. Give it a white color. Guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to do that right now. Okay, so that you don't miss any of my updates. Okay. Then I have to change the 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 type case. Okay, so I'll go to test, go to change case, then go to I2 case. Good. So I'll use my uh, shape to expand it a bit. Okay. All right. So guys, uh, the next I'll do uh, is to add another test. The test that says, let me say, a celebration of life or painful is it or something like that. So that is what I'm going to. Uh, type now so i will use my test to um type glorious glorious call all right so i'll i'll do what i'll break this by pressing ctrl k on my keyboard to break the test apart then bring this one here increase the size all right then give it a white background a yellow, a, a yellow color sorry so i will also uh, bring this one here then i will change this font by going here So I'll give it a white color. Then bring this color here. Give it a yellow color. Then so I'm going to uh, centralize them. Good. Just like this. All right, so uh, the next thing I'll do Cool, so the next thing I'll do now is to add the name So I'm going to add the name here So I'll use my text to and type And type uh, I'm also going to break this test apart right now. So I'll bring the name here. Should I bring this one here? Change the font. I will use impact for this one. I use impact for this one.
good uh, so another thing i'm going to do uh is to uh, is to uh, put the barrel uh, arrange or funeral arrangement so i'll use my rectangle to and draw this way and draw this way then i'll clip it inside good so uh, i will also edit the core clip then change the background to yellow then remove the outline color okay then finish editing so uh the next i'm going to do now is to add this uh funeral arrangement funeral arrangement If you have any question, go to the comment section and drop your question. Alright? So I'll give it a black background, a white background. Okay? So, <clears throat> uh, this is the date. I'll copy it. Use my test to then test it. Okay, then I'll use my uh, rectangle tool and draw this way. And draw this way. Give it a red background. Then remove the outline. Okay. Then I'll duplicate this. That is uh, where I click to, to duplicate, then take them inside by for clipping, and this one too by for clipping. Good, so I'll now bring this one, change the case, go to test, then change case to upper case, I'll uh, title case, sorry. Then bring it here. Give it a white color. Right. So uh, let me change the background of this uh, shape. Alright. So I will I will change the fonts for this uh, for these days. Okay, so the next thing I'll do Yes, I have to duplicate this Then I'll bring this one here Give it a white color Then change the case to Tahoma Alright in case the aroma then go to test to change the case by to case good so uh what i'll do is also uh take this one here because there's a much space here i don't want to have a much space so i'll take this one then leave this one here then Copy the other dates, then edit this one, paste it. Good. Then 
you have any question like i said don't forget to ask your question in the comment section below okay then i'll copy this one copy this one get this okay sorry uh i'll paste it okay then go to test to change the case title case okay leave it here Then I will draw like this. Give it a black background. Okay. Then for clip it inside. Good. Then bring this may have so rest uh, in pitch. Then bring it here, increase it, change the font, then use my shape to expand it, okay, then bring it like this. Okay, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do right now, the next thing I'm going to do right now, uh, is to copy this here. Okay, then I'll use my ellipse tool, hold my shift key. Hold my uh, control key, sorry, to draw a perfect circle. Okay? Draw a perfect circle. Then uh, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a red background, a ruby red background. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Okay? by copying it and paste then hold my shift key to bring the other one inside okay then give it a white color all right now that i'm going to do is to use my rectangle to and draw like this and draw like this Then I'm also going to uh, use this color and remove the background, then convert to curve. All right, Okay, uh, 
now so I'm going to add the year here so it's three years three years I'm gonna bring it here give it a black color I'll use the uh, impact as a font okay and put it here so I'm, I'm also going to copy the year which is this one now I'll copy it and paste it here okay so I will leave it here give it a white color white color like this like this oh so the next thing I'll do uh, is to bring this sign okay bring this sign centralize it like this so I bring it this way then change the font the font like this I use my shape tool to uh, space it alright then I will change this font So uh, the next thing I'll do, the next thing I'll do is to increase this text. Increase this text. All right. So I'll delete these ones. So guys, this is how you can design a barrel poster in Corel Draw.
all right if you love this video please kindly go to the comment section and comment i love this video i love this video and if you have any question go to the comment section also and drop your question i will be there to answer all your questions please make sure you like this video share this video to your loved ones okay so that they will come and learn also all right thank you for watching this video see you on my next tutorial goodbye